Your brain is an extremely complex machine. It consists of about 100 billion neurons, which are responsible for your thoughts, sensations, body movement, feelings, behavior, and for your memories. But neurons are not the only type of brain cells involved in brain functions. One study shows that another type of brain cells, known as astrocytes, play a very important role in the formation of long-term memories. A long-term memory is anything you remember that happened more than a few minutes ago. Astrocytes are star-shaped brain cells which are at least as abundant as neurons. Pretty much everything happening in the brain would fail without astrocytes. These star-shaped cells were thought to only play a supporting role in the nervous system. They are involved in regulating the electrical impulses within the brain. They also provide support to neurons by providing nutrients, cleaning up debris, and, as we now understand, forming memories. The first step in forming a memory is known as encoding. Information is channeled to the hippocampus, which is the brain region crucial for the formation of new memories. It is also one of the only places in the brain where brand new neurons are regularly generated. The neurons take the information, process it, and then transfer the information to another neuron through electrical and chemical signals. Without these signals, no communication takes place among the neurons and there is no brain activity. In the case of a chemical signal, one neuron releases a chemical known as a neurotransmitter. Another neuron in the vicinity catches the chemical and thus the signal is passed on. Astrocytes also secrete a kind of chemical called the gliotransmitters, and some of them are chemically similar to neurotransmitters. A recent study shows that astrocytes' function might not only have a supporting role. In fact, they may be more actively involved in important brain functions. For the study, researchers genetically engineered mice that lacked a specific protein known as IP3R2. Astrocytes used this protein to release calcium for cellular communication. Researchers then performed behavioral tests on genetically modified mice as well as normal mice. For the test, they used a maze where the mice had to find the exit point. Within a period of 24 to 48 hours after the training, both the group that lacked the IP3R2 and the normal mice could remember the task almost equally efficiently. But when researchers performed the test again after 2 to 4 weeks, the engineered mice were far less efficient in remembering how to find the maze's exit in comparison to the unaltered mice. The study could help in finding therapies for brain disorders which affects the long-term memory of patients, such as dementia or traumatic brain injuries. Researchers are constantly learning more about how the human brain functions. More and more studies are done every year trying to discover how memories are formed and stored in our brain. A lot is known, but still, more is left to be discovered.